Good day to all. Welcome to Extreme Recap. Subsequent to tracking down a journal that awards him the powers of a shinogi, Youthful Light starts to dispense with the greatest lawbreakers on Earth. As a result, he finds himself in the crosshairs of L, the greatest detective in the world, and Interpol. We'll go over the backstory of the 2017 film Death Note today. Light Turner, a young man from Seattle, goes about his day like any other high school student in the city. However, despite having an intellect that is well above average, he takes advantage of the fact that he can make money by taking other students' tests. The young man was studying near the soccer field one day when he suddenly fell to the ground while reading a book titled Death Note. The young man picks up the notebook out of curiosity and begins to look through it. However, the precipitation soon follows. Kenny Doyle appears at the entrance light, forcing him to flee for safety. One of his classmates is being bullied at school, and the bully doesn't do anything about it. Light finally decides to act and defends me when the girl he likes tries to interfere and becomes the young man's target. Kenny asks Light what he's going to do when he feels confronted, and Light responds that the bully is of legal age and could be arrested for assaulting a minor. In any case, the young fellow doesn't care a lot and hits Turner with a super punch. Making him in a flash shut down subsequent to going through the clinic. Light is taken to the central's office to discuss all the proof they tracked down in his rucksack, disturbed. The young man tries to talk about Kenny's actions and the bump on his face. After class, the teacher wakes Light up and informs him that she will need to leave the room and asks him to be alone for a few minutes. The principal, on the other hand, asserts that Mia has already informed him that he ran into a steel beam and insists on speaking about Light. He also asserts that there is no excuse for his bad behavior in putting him in detention. Turner begins to read through the notebook after finally giving the young man time to examine the death note in a calmer manner. The first few pages contain a few rules, but they are ajar and contain hundreds of marbles. He decides to investigate where it falls to the ground. The terrified light walks towards the storeroom in search of the person who knocked over the and inquires if anyone is present. Finding a frightening spooky figure in the dimness surprise the young fellow attempts frantically to get away. Afraid Light runs under the teacher's desk, which is soon also dragged across the room, leaving him completely unprotected as the door locks in his face and tables begin to fly around him. The objects stop suddenly flying in. The creature that caused this says it is Ryu Ashinaga, and I find it strange. I try to ask some questions, but the specter completely ignores me. Turner hears yelling from the person who only asks him to quietly pay attention to the sounds around him. Coming from outside and understands that Kenny is irritating another understudy. Light picks up a pen and writes the name of the bully, feeling compelled to see if the notebook actually works with Rue's help. On the death certificate, which included the man's name and the reason for his decapitation. Turner is watching Kenny, when a mishap nearly occurs in the city, compelling the driver of a pickup truck to drive onto the walkway and slam into a left vehicle, putting the ladder on top of its roof. Grease realizes the young man has courage and tells him that he has a bright future and that he can make great changes in the world with the death note, but that if he doesn't feel capable, that will hit the bully in the head and cause his brain to explode. Light can give up the notebook, and the Shinagawa will take care of finding a new owner at the conclusion of the conversation. However, Ryuk mysteriously vanishes, leaving Light alone in the middle of the chaos to decide what to do at the Turner home later. The child speaks with his father, James, in regards to the reason he was detained. However, when they begin discussing the man who was able to get away with running over the young boy's mother, the conversation quickly turns into an argument. When angry Light sees Ryo sitting on his bed, he goes to his room to read the rules again. The young man decides to ask the specter about Rule 20 because he is unsure about it. The specter tells him that a Shinagawa can control the person whose name is on the death note for up to 48 hours. Holder writes that this means that he will do whatever the death note says. Light takes some newspaper clippings about the man who ran over his mother and decides to turn him into his second victim as long as it is physically possible with this information. This causes a waiter to trip over the criminal and leaves the man with a knife stuck in his throat. James learns the news the following morning when he wakes up and decides to share it with his son. At last, his son realizes that James is really determined to make the most of the notebook. Light starts to concentrate on the standards to an ever-increasing extent, and even peruses them during class. 
However, Mia eventually notices this and approaches him to learn more about Kenny's ordeal, realizing that the girl appreciated the bully's absence from the group. Light decides to tell her about the notebook's powers, a questionable move to say the least. But it's clear that she doesn't believe him when he says that he's lying. Light gives Mia permission to touch the death note, accepting that she will actually want to see the Shinagawa. However, this is not the case. Ryu claims that the only person who can see him is the notebook's keeper. The young man looks for a crime that is happening live and writes the person's name and a very detailed description on one of the pages, stating that the criminal will leave the store, in an effort to demonstrate his seriousness. Do a military salute, and SWAT will immediately run you over. And that is precisely what takes place. Eventually persuaded that everything is real. Together, they begin a real cleanup of the world, eradicating all of the criminals that appear in the newspapers, according to Mia, who claims that they will be able to change the world with the notebook, determined to eradicate the evil that exists in the world. In an effort to deceive the authorities and lead them to the wrong continent, the couple begins to envision a god for the new world and decides to give him the Japanese name Kira. However, in the end, they achieve global fame. And Interpol makes the decision to get in touch with L, also known as Raiz, the greatest detective in the world. James is impressed when he learns about the new investigators and finds it odd that his son seems shaken. But she decides to ignore it, thinking that the young man just likes Kira. James, like all of his colleagues at the police station, takes care of his son's case and is immediately visited by Watari, who tells him that Kira has ties to the police and that they need to put together a trustworthy team because of this, inviting him to a meeting with the greatest detective in the world. L declares the FBI immediately during the conference, is searching for Kira in Japan due to the name. However, the detective demonstrates that he already recognizes that the name is a distraction by stating that, based on his previous victims, he is interested in the young man's knowledge while walking Seattle's streets. Detective Turner agrees to join the team, and the two of them begin to look over the evidence they have so far. They come to the conclusion that Kira has access to confidential information from the police database but that the network was never hacked. In other words, after James has shared everything he knows, the criminal is probably a police officer. L makes the decision to talk to the public and confronts Kira one-on-one, -on -one, asking him to kill himself on a national network. Just to show that the person who did the acts can only affect someone by seeing, just to prove his point. Light watches ELL's provocations from home without being able to stop him. Since James also does not know Reizuki's name or face Light, he decides to investigate on his own while he waits for his father to arrive to inquire about the investigator's identity. However, when he discovers that some agents are following him, he decides to tell his father. Who is irate that a stranger is coldly following his son? Ryu Zaki asserts, as usual, that he has investigated James and discovered that there is absolutely no chance that he is Kira. However, when he began to watch his son, the outcome was quite different, and the young man became one of the main suspects when he realized that the police were still after him. Light suggests that they stop working on the death certificate until the police stop following them. Rio and Mia, on the other hand, are in opposition to the idea and suggest that he tried to identify the officer in order to eliminate him. Light declines, claiming that doing so would only establish his identity as Kira. Mia also proposes getting rid of all of the police officers who are following the suspects so that no one will ever know which of the people being investigated is to blame for the events. They would still be able to scare people. Company declining to dispose of blamelessness. Light decides to simply wait and rejects the girl's proposal once more. However, the following day, for no apparent reason, all of the agents congregate at the top of a building and jump from it. That home light asks the young man if Ryu was the one who killed the FBI agents, claims he is the one who chooses which names will be written in the notebook, and threatens to write the Shinagawa, making the young man extremely enraged. His own name appears in the obituary. Light goes to his room and begins doing his chores after the argument, but the creature just laughs and says that he can try, but that the most they have written so far is two letters. When Mia notices that James is openly discussing Kira's actions with the 12 agents, accusing him of being a villain and attempting to turn the populace against him, James appears on television. Consequently, the girl suggests that her boyfriend include the name of his own father in the funeral note. Clearly, Light refuses to do so, 
claiming that the Kira myth has ended and that the girl should leave his house. However, the true identity of the person responsible for the has become abundantly clear due to this lack of courage in taking James's life. The next evening, a coffee shop is lit. At the point when L appears and inquires as to whether it was challenging to choose to save his own dad's life, making it clear to the young fellow that he definitely knows it all, professing to have no clue about what he is referring to. Light says he is guiltless and gets up to leave, yet winds up seeing Mob at the entry of the foundation and chooses to ask the specialist how he thinks Kira perpetrates his violations, finding that his opponent has no clue about the demise note. In addition to forcing him to reveal his true identity for the first time, leaving only Raiz Aki's real name undiscovered. Light decides to use Watari to obtain this information when he returns home. In order to place L under the Shinagawa, Mi's control, the young man plans to write the tutor's name in his notebook. Light intends to destroy the notebook sheet and thus cancel the effects of the death note without eliminating Watari in order to compel the elderly man to use Raja, his real name, before the end of the 48 hours. Yet, Ryu cautions him that this must be done once per guide. ELL's guardian comes under as soon as they finish speaking. The Shinogi, who means influence, calls Light right away to inform him that he does not know the investigator's real name because, according to him, he only began acting as his guardian after he left the San Marta orphanage. That's when he was already known as L. Frustrated Light inquires about his name. Watari responds that only the orphanage's records contain this information. As a result, there is no other choice but to send him to San Marta to retrieve the files, almost as if he were under the spell of the tyrant. Watai gets on a train and leaves straight for the halfway house without speaking with anybody. Rai Uzaki goes straight to Light's house to ask for Witter's whereabouts and makes it clear to James that his son is Kira, which deeply offends Detective Turner and causes them both to start a fight, leaving L extremely worried about his friend's disappearance, knowing who is responsible. And sensed L says that Light has gone too far and won't make do after this. However, James doesn't permit his child to be compromised before him and kicks Raja Key out of his home. Soon after, the police arrive at the location with a warrant in hand and begin putting in security cameras everywhere. In addition, despite searching the area for anything suspicious, we were unable to locate the light-colored death note. The following day, the young man goes to school and takes the chance to call Watari while he is there, finding that he is still looking for the orphanage's location, which was never meant to be easily accessible. Light goes to school with the police following him, where Mia gives him a prom costume as a part of the strategy. What I finally reaches the San Marta orphanage as it gets dark and begins looking for the records room. However, the police were able to locate him in some way and are currently at the location after spending some time searching. At the graduation party, Watari begins his search for ELL's papers after finally finding the room containing the documents. Light appears to be having fun and takes a few pictures while the policeman stands back. Intel at the event's zenith. They profit from the movement. Therefore, Mia passes another young man who is dressed similarly to her boyfriend to her boyfriend. Lights in a hat. In this manner the police only see the hat on the dance floor and have no idea who the real target is. Light quickly finds the death note in his closet and calls rhetoric on his cell phone to see if he has found the documents. But because there are only a few minutes left until the time written in the notebook, the young man tries to get the man to stop looking while he searches for the page where he wrote, Watari name to destroy desperate light orders another guardian to stop searching and leave the building immediately. But because he is still being manipulated by what was written in the notebook, the man completely ignores him. In the wake of looking through the demise, Note Light understands that the sheet with Watari name on it has been detached and quickly accepts that it was Mia. ELL's guardian finally locates Raja Zuki's real papers and prepares to reveal the name to Kira so as not to leave, fearing that any witnesses will become completely enraged with the girl at this point. However, just as he is about to speak, two police officers arrive and fire just in time to kill him. As Light said simultaneously, Ryu shows up behind the Death Note carrier and starts chuckling as the young fellow inquires as to why he didn't caution about the torn page. However, Shinogi Back at the dance hall, Light goes to his girlfriend and accuses her of taking Watari's life, however, the girl sees it differently and responds by saying that she saved both of their skins, just as she did when she eliminated the agents. He only replies that he likes Mia and didn't want to interfere. 
As such, it was not Ryu who ended the existences of the twelve cops. However, Mia, who was also distracted, the girl took a piece of paper out of her notebook and started following Agent Raymond. She made him unconscious and made him write down the names of everyone involved in the operation at once to avoid being caught, conceiving her boyfriend to be a weakling. Mia lets him know that he can stop Kira's fantasy assuming he needs, however that to do as such, he should pass the journal to her name. Light declares, disconcerted, that he will never permit her to touch the notebook. Additionally, the girl reveals that she has written his name and exact time of death on a page. However, if he gives up the death, she will destroy the page, so he can still save himself. Mia declares that once she owns the death note, she will erase his name from it because she still loves light. From her base of operations, L receives a call from the police advising him of what has happened to Watari. In a state of insane rage, he takes a vehicle and rushes toward the school. That's why she tore the page out of the rhetoric. If they had saved the man, surely they wouldn't have been so lucky. Already pondering his activities, James also gets in touch with the police and tells them to get L arrested as soon as possible, before the investigator hurts his son and his own girlfriend almost robs him. Light dashes to the closet and finds that Mia actually wrote his name in the notebook. After the affirmation, the young fellow rushes to the closest PC and starts making a few canals. At the point when the police show up on the scene in full power, accepting that he is being pursued by the specialists. Light orchestrates with Mia to meet at the most attractive wheel on the dock and starts to run towards the ocean side. But Ellis is determined to stop him, so he chases him through the alleys for a long time. Turner attempts to exit a restaurant from the back while inside. However, completely surrendered, Ryuzaki manages to get around the teenager's top and corner him as he enters the door. Light claims that he is unable to avert the end. What I has met and knows that he can kill people with a book of calculations. Light finds Mia on the Ferris wheel and threatens the employee to put them both on top before he can even explain further. However, the employee of the restaurant comes out of the back of the store and hits L in the head with a supreme woodcut. He reveals himself to be a curious supporter without L behind him. Then, at that point, shoots the water-driven framework, making it inconceivable for anybody to bring them down at the top light, requests that he and Mia run away together and never use the death note again so that they can live peaceful lives. However, the girl expresses no interest at all and only requests that it be given to her shortly. As soon as James got to the waterfront, he started yelling his son's name, which distracted the young man enough to let me take the death certificate from his hands. The fairest wheel's middle begins to twist in response to her action. Mia slips out of the structure and is held by light as the cabin is fully tilted, causing the structure to begin to fall, depressing everyone below, who needs his strength to safeguard them both. However, the young man is unable to hold on for long, and he and his girlfriend end up falling into the water along with a flower shop on the waterfront. Another man soon discovers the death certificate at the beach's edge after it falls into the water. However, Mia's writing was rendered null and void when the light ending page fell from the notebook during the fall and hit a fire spike. After two days, Kira continues to act, despite the fact that light is lucid. Furthermore, this completely ruins the career opportunity, who has compelled the police commander to remove an innocent man from the case and deport him back to Japan for the duration of their pursuit. L decides to call the police to inquire if any notebooks pertaining to the calculus book have been seized while they are on the plane because she recalls Like's words about it. Discovering that he did, Ryuzaki recalls the young fellow's educational plan and understands that neither he nor Mia had analytics classes. With this information in hand, L orders the pilot to cancel takeoff and goes to the young man's room to look for the book, so he was lying as he left the restaurant. L takes a pen and writes the life's name on the death note, never imagining that a mysterious visitor arrives at the hospital and leaves the rest to the death note in the unconscious young man's lap. Finding the page that Mia used to kill the FBI agents right in the middle of the notes, overcome with hatred, James comes to Light's bedside as soon as he regains consciousness and tells him that he found a newspaper article about the man who ran over his son in his son's room. However, Detective Turner realized that L was correct and that Light had always been Kira because this document remained locked away in his safe until the day before the man was killed. Inquisitive James asks how his child had the option to do this. 
and the young man finally reveals his plans when he went to get the death certificate during the dance light and wrote down the name of a doctor who had a bad track record. This got him to be on the pier at the time of the fall and get his body out of the water by using his influence at the hospital to keep him in an induced coma for two days. Light also wrote the name of a criminal letter carrier to retrieve the death note from the water and use it for the next two days, throwing himself off the top of the building at the end of the 48 hours. This was done so that the authorities would believe Kira was still at large with the influence letter from Shinagawa 48 hours earlier. After handing over the death certificate to the real owner, Carrier commits suicide. Regarding me, Light wrote that should she take his death note. The most attractive wheel would start to give way, and the young lady would collide with the waterfront. While he falls securely into the water, L finishes writing Light's name just as the young man finishes explaining his entire strategy. Rio then makes an appearance at the hospital's entrance and remarks on how much fun it is for people to kill his former partner. How did you feel about Like's plan? Would you set out to utilize the demise note? So, how did you feel about this movie? Iyon ang mga notification, please mag-subscribe para sa higit pang mga video na tulad nito, at ilike ang channel para suportahan ito. Maraming salamat sa panunood.